and they are mild. WAVD. Stay tuned for the John Hopkins Science Review tomorrow. Four gentlemen, take five tomorrow. The Johns Hopkins Science Review, presented by the Johns Hopkins University and WAAM in Baltimore. This is the Johns Hopkins University, famed for 75 years for its contributions to science and the humanities. Here in its many laboratories, Hopkins scientists are constantly probing into the basic, still unknown secrets of science which, when discovered, are translated into benefits to be enjoyed by you, the people of America. Each week at this time, we catch a glimpse of the results of their research. Tonight, we ask the question, epidemic theory, what is it? <laughs> to introduce tonight's demonstration, here is Lynn Poole of the Johns Hopkins University. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's always a pleasure on Tuesday nights to meet you people along the East Coast and out in Chicago and Cleveland and Columbus. We're very happy to announce tonight that two new cities have joined our network. It's a pleasure to salute these people and the stations in Rock Island and in Omaha. We're honored to greet the people in Omaha, uh, Nebraska and in Rock Island. Rock Island, we hope we're going to make many good friends tonight whom we will see for many Tuesday nights to come as they watch us over that pioneering television station WHBF-TV. Rock Island, long a great railroad center, is also a center of agriculture and progressive industry. Well known for its cultural and educational development, WHBF-TV is a leader in its community. We also send our greetings to the residents of Moline, Illinois and Davenport, Iowa, who may be watching the program over WHBF-TV. We hope you'll be with us for many months to come. At the same time, it's our privilege to pay our sincere respects to the people of Omaha, Nebraska, where station KMTV is making it possible for us to come into your homes. Also a great railroad center, Omaha is the home of fine institutions, such as Omaha University, Creighton University, and the Jocelyn Memorial Art Museum. We are proud to be associated with Omaha and station KMTV. At the same time, we send our greetings to those of you in Council Bluffs, Iowa, and Lincoln, Nebraska, who may be watching us from KMTV. The station KMTV and WHBF-TV, and to all you people in the Midwest, we want to tell you and pledge to you that we will work hard to bring you programs that are entertaining and programs that are worthwhile. And now to tonight's program. The word epidemic has struck terror into the hearts of many people for many centuries. Diseases have ravaged entire cities as they spread from person to person, and indeed they have ravaged entire countries. Epidemic is a word that people feared for a long time. But with the advent of modern medicine, the epidemic scourge of disease passing from person to person has almost been wiped out. This has been done by our medical scientists working in their laboratories day after day in our behalf. A uh, theory has been developed about epidemics, a theory that applies to you and to me. That's the theory we want to demonstrate tonight. So it's my privilege to present our guest, a great public health servant, the Vice President of Johns Hopkins University and Hospital, Dr. Lowell J. Reed. 